Strange brew is what we're used to Get out all life, that's me and you Alright guys, what is up YouTube? It's actually Sunday morning right now. It is about 7 a.m. and and I honestly wanted to make a pretty quick video for you guys. My last video that I uploaded, I'm fortunate enough to be able to make these videos in my office, right? In my in my building where I actually work and make a living. That's really cool because uh, uh, my boss <laughs> um, actually watches my videos, which is really interesting, right? When you think about it, because you're filming in an office. It's funny we were actually talking about my YouTube channel for about 20 minutes or so, or something like that, maybe 20, 30 minutes, or something around that. And he told me how he watched my last video, and he was talking about how he does like my, he liked that video, but there was one point he didn't agree with. And I'm like, oh really, what is it? And I was really interested interested to hear because you know he has a lot of experience, he was a senior front developer, and he still codes at work too. He told me how, when I mentioned my video that it should only take you two to three months to learn HTML and CSS. And he told me fairly quickly that that's something he doesn't agree with. And I was very interested to hear his input on that. There's so much in regards to the internet that you need to know when it comes to HTML and CSS. Because it's more than just building a DOM, right? And he gave me a really good point. And so the question then is, right, I don't want to get into this. How much HTML and CSS do you really need to know? Like how much? How much do you need to know? How much time do you need to spend on it? And this is something that I really want to talk about right now. And I want to talk about this because almost everyone that's self-taught are front-end developers. A lot of them are. They're back-end developers too. But a majority of them are front-end developers because that's usually what you think of. When you think of code, you think of what you can see. That's front-end development. But the question then is, how much do you really need to know? To get off right off the bat, you will never know enough. Not even just these languages are changing and growing, but even more than that, the internet is growing. The internet is changing. There are rules when it comes to even Google that you have to work with. Things coming on the internet that you have to be able to work around, but one of the main ways that you do that is being able to write effective HTML and effective CSS. How much HTML and CSS do you know? In two to three months, you should at least be able to know how to build a regular basic website. You have your, that body, you are able to build just the website. You put the paragraph elements, you put your, your copy, your text in there, you you know, you know, have a footer, you have the very basic, right? That stuff, it's not easy to make as a first time coder, being able to build a nav bar. And then within two to three months, you should make it a goal to learn how to make it mobile friendly. The basics, right? Not, so, not really intricate, but now, after two to three months, after getting sent, this is what my boss told me, after someone even learns that code in two to three months, now, to get even better, and he's a senior developer, okay? <laughs> senior front-end developer. Um, now, the goal then, to be someone who's really good at HTML, CSS, is take what you wrote, that website that you made in two to three months using HTML, CSS that made it mobile friendly, now, do it all over again. This time, don't even use a tutorial. Okay, he didn't say that, I'm, I'm saying this right now, but then what he said is this. Now, do that again, what you made, that website, but now use less CSS. I'm like, shoot, that's true, right? Now, do it again and see if there's a way to use even less HTML. Does that make sense? Then he said, now, do that same thing, but make it load even faster. And so, the point that he was getting at is that you cannot learn enough HTML CSS in two to three months to become really good at that. These type of things, like doing this kind of work on the internet and the web takes years and experience and making mistakes and learning from your mistakes. But that is what web development is all about. It's not just making something simple. But you get the job done, done, <laughs> what the heck, okay, my bad. You get the job done, but now the goal is, how can you do the exact same thing even better? How can you make it faster? How can you make it load from page to page? You do the exact same thing with JavaScript. Okay, so you just learned JavaScript, and you learned how to hide a page on a click. You learned how to make something load after three seconds, right? You learned how to do different things on a page with JavaScript. Now, do the exact same thing, which you did in JavaScript, but using even less code. 
Now, try to make the page load even faster. Now, try to implement Ajax. Now, how do you implement that Ajax call even faster? Now, and you, does that make sense? That's the whole point of this, is that how much HTML, CSS do you need to know? You'll never know enough, but the big important factor is how well can you use it? Because anyone can build a website. You could just use Google to make a website with no coding experience. It's very easy. I'm gonna make a video on that soon. But the question then is, how good are you at using it? How effective are you at using it? And if I was gonna add my own input to this as well, is how much attention do you spend to detail, which is something I need to work on even more than ever, to be honest, right? Coding is more than just building, it's building things well. And not even that, taking something that was built very well and make it even 60% faster, 40% faster. Make it work, look amazing, even on an iPhone or an Android or whatever browser you're using, right? Um, that is how much you need to know. And I know there's no exp like number that I'm giving you, but how much HTML, CSS you need to know, you have to know how to make things better. You have to learn to be effective with it. If you're able to do that, and know JavaScript as well, people would be crazy to not hire you. People would be going after you. Why? Because not many people think that way. Let me know your thoughts. If you disagree, let me know. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. <laughs> All right guys, thank you for watching. This is Krishan, the LifeWeb developer, and I'm out. Peace.